Assalamu alaikum and good day everyone. So we are going to discuss about the 15.3 about the menstrual cycle. So what is menstrual cycle? It is about the productions of the secondary oocyte and this process will be uh, undergoes throughout one cycle and during this cycle the endometrium will become soft, thick and rich with the blood vessels. Now the functions of the menstrual cycle is to prepare for the embryo implantation. But if the fertilization does not occur, the secondary oocyte will die and the endometrium will shut. So this leading uh, to the menstruation. Okay, now let me discuss about the functions of hormone in the menstrual cycle. The gland that involved here are the pituitary and the ovary. The pituitary gland will secrete the FSH and the LH. Meanwhile, the ovary will secrete the estrogen and the progesterone. Now, let me discuss about the functions of the FSH. It is uh, to stimulate the follicle growth in the ovary. And besides that, it also helps the release of the estrogen. So, dekat sini, kita tahu juga estrogen dibantu oleh FSH. For the luteinizing hormone, the function is to stimulate the ovulation. And then it will cause the formations of the corpus luteum. And the last one is to stimulate the release of the progesterone. So, uh, dekat sini kita nampak dah apa function dia. Okay, next one is about the ovary. The ovary will secrete the estrogen. Functions of estrogen is to repair and stimulate the thickness of the endometrium wall. It also help the follicle growth which is in the ovary okay uh, until it's become matured and the third one is to release the FSH and LH before the ovulation and last one is about the hormones of progesterone the functions here are to the thicken the endometrium wall the functions is to become thicker folded and rich in the blood vessels so the function is to prepare for the implantations of the embryo and during the high level of the progesterone it will stop the uh, release of the FSH and LH to prevent the follicle growth and the ovulation okay now let me discuss about the phases that involve in the menstrual cycle there are four phases that involve which is the first one is day zero until day five Okay, so there are three events that occur here at the same period of time. Which is the first one is a hormone level. And second one is the follicle development. This one occur in the ovary. And the third one is the event that occur in the uterus. Which is the changes of the endometrium thickening. Alright, so before the menstrual occur, so you can see here. All the hormone is at the low level. So, when there is a no stimulation of the progesterone and estrogen, okay, so what will cause? It will cause the menstruation to start. Alright, so but before that, before or a day before the menstrual cycle begins, the hypothalamus will secrete the GnRH. So, this GnRH will produce or release the FSH and the LH, alright? So, that's why, as, as you can see here, the level of the green and yellow will increase here because the NRH is yeah, secret. Okay, functions of FSH is to stimulate the follicle growth, alright? So, within this primary follicle, other oocyte, and this oocyte will develop to form the secondary oocyte. Okay, it will form the secondary oocyte which contain in the graphene follicle. Okay, so this growing follicle will release the estrogen. So that's why lah, kalau kita nampak kat sini, the level of estrogen uh, start untuk increase. So at the same time juga, estrogen will encourage the follicle maturation and repair the endometrium wall. Ini adalah function estrogen. Alright. So, at the low level of estrogen, 
bila estrogen ni dihasilkan dan pada paras rendah it will inhibit the FSH and LH that's why kita nampak dekat sini the level of FSH mula menurun sebab apa bila estrogen mula meningkat ya, tapi dalam keadaan yang rendah dia akan inhibit the FSH and LH because to prevent the growth of the new follicle dia tak nak menghasilkan follicle yang baru dah dekat uh, ovary ok now let me discuss the second phase which is occur from day 6 until day 14 alright so at this time the highest uh, uh, hormone is the estrogen at least uh, at a peak on the day 12 alright so on the day 12 what will happen is the estrogen will stimulate the hypothalamus to secrete the G and RH so this G and RH will secrete more FSH and more LH so on the day 13 alright pada hari yang ke-13 apa akan berlaku adalah LH level will rise until it's on peak yeah? which this will help the process of ovulation iaitu uh, the process of releasing of the secondary oocyte from the glafian follicle on the day 14 so proses ini dipanggil ovulation pada hari ke 14 so LH ni juga dalam masa yang sama will stimulate the follicular tissue that left behind which is the structure of the graphium follicle ini untuk membentuk to transform the corpus luteum uh, so this is another functions of the LH ok now that we discuss the third phase which is occur from the day 15 until day 21 ok at this phase what the process involved here are the LH will start to stimulate the corpus luteum Alright, so the corpus luteum will start to secrete estrogen and progesterone. So, now you can see the level of hormone that increase here is progesterone and estrogen. So, the combinations of estrogen and progesterone here will inhibit the releasing of the LH and the FSH. That's why kamu nampak kat sini, LH dan juga FSH mula menurun. Alright, because want to stop the growth of the new follicle. Dia tak nak dah ovary ni menghasilkan follicle yang baru. So, the progesterone will stimulate the wall of thick, uh, thickening which is uh, enriching its blood vessel. So, dekat bahagian uterus ni, uh, berlakulah penebalan dinding uterus endometrium which is the function is to prepare for the embryo implantations if the fertilization take place okay <clears throat> last but not least is from the day 22 until and uh, day 28 okay so if the fertilization occur okay the discuss dulu sekiranya so, berlaku fertilization this corpus luteum all right this corpus luteum will continue to grow and will secrete more progesterone and estrogen so this this will cause the endometrium wall maintain their thickness to support the fetus growth but if the fertilization does not occur all right so if the fertilization does not occur what happened here is the lh will start to decrease all right and then the corpus luteum also start to generate alright so when the corpus luteum start to degenerate it will stop the production of progesterone and the estrogen so without stimulations of the estrogen and progesterone the endometrium wall will shut and uh, will shut and the menstruation will start again so low level of the progesterone and estrogen will no longer inhibit the hypothalamus to secrete FSH and LH means uh, the new cycle will be start which is when the FSH and LH starts to increase back so the new cycle will be start begin with the new follicle growth alright okay
Now here are about the, about the hormone in the pregnancy and miscarriage. Okay, the corpus luteum here will secrete the estrogen and progesterone up to four months after the pregnancy. After that, the structure of corpus luteum will degenerate. The functions of uh, secretions of estrogen and progesterone will be taken over by the placenta until the birth. Alright. So the functions of uh, progesterone you will inhibit the productions or the secretions of FSH and LH. The second one is uh, because to ensure that no menstrual cycle and ovulation do not occur throughout a pregnancy. So the miscarriage, the process kekuran, boleh berlaku sekiranya there is imbalance of progesterone and estrogen level or decrease of the progesterone level so it will cause the uterus to shrink okay so this is about the premenstrual syndrome uh, this is a pill 7 to 14 days before the first day of menstrual cycle this is caused by the imbalance of its estrogen and progesterone all right and uh, um, next we are going to discuss about the menopause Menopause is a process when the ovulation and menstruation stop naturally. Basically, it occurs for a lady who is a average. The age is about 46, 46 to 50 years old. This is caused by the reductions of uh, number reduction number of uh, the secretions of progesterone and estrogen, which then cause the reduced stimulations of FSH and LH. So, as the sequences, the ovaries will stop producing ovum and then the woman cannot be, uh, cannot have child anymore. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, we hope, I hope you can uh, prepare for the next subtopic, which is 15.4. With that, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for listening and watching. See you again.